afternoon crafters and welcome to this week's update. I'm Michelle Brown, Creative Director from Picture to Page and Beyond which is our scrapbooking, mixed media art and paper craft show. Now I hope you have all had a lovely week and for those of you across Melbourne and Victoria enjoyed a little bit of that warmer weather and it seems to have put a bit of a spring back in our step hasn't it? So it has been lovely to be able to get warm again and hopefully spark that creativity. Now this week's update, firstly just a reminder everybody, the Pakenham show held at the end of the May has been cancelled. I've had one or two emails and questions about whether it's still going ahead and it is definitely not going ahead. No Pakenham show, so please make sure you note that in your diaries. We will definitely do our best to be back in May 2021. So hi Diana, good to see you there. Now Geelong show, we're still reviewing this week in July, but of course that is looking quite doubtful. We haven't officially cancelled it yet, so keep those pencils at the ready, but we will look and um, chat with the venue. The Vines Road Community Centre is still closed as well, and um, we'll be getting, up, getting back to you this week. Now, Dash of Inspiration. This Dash of Inspiration has been brought to us by Rachel Griggs at Dark Room Doors. Haven't we had a fantastic week of Peter P Craft Presents? Now, if you haven't had a chance to watch Rachel's video, you can find it here on Facebook, of course, over on our website from picture to page of beyond.com.au or over at YouTube. And what Rachel had was a gorgeous basket of things that she'd already stamped and coloured and cut out. And I thought, what a great idea for those times where you want to make something but you're not feeling over creative, get out some stamps, get out some board, get out some ink, do some stamping, colour it in whether you want to use your watercolours or your water soluble mediums that we've talked about or getting to know your paints. Give them, you know, give them a bit of colour, give them a bit of a fussy cut and then have a collection so that when you do go and do your next card or your art journal or your scrapbooking layout, you've already got a collection of things ready to go. So that is my suggestion to get inspired this week. Just have a beautiful basket like Rachel and it may be some flowers, it may be different sentiments, it may be whatever images you've got, just all coloured in, cut out and ready to go. So when you do need to throw that card together in a hurry, you can do a quick background, chuck on a sentiment, pop on a few little cutouts and there you'll have it, your own individual card. And the same goes with uh, journaling and scrapbooking as well. You'll have some there, you can trial the colours, try the pieces before you put it all together. So that's my inspiration. When you're not feeling up to it, get out some of those stamps that you know that you've bought at the last picture to page show, haven't got out yet, get them out, get some ink on them because stamps always work much better once they've got a bit of ink on. Sometimes they take a bit to get going, don't they? And then have them there ready to go. Now, like we said, we've had a whole heap of Peter P Craft Presents over the last couple of weeks. All of the details and links are over on our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au. Plus, for those of you on our email list, we're sending out a summary every week so you can find all the links to the replays, all the links to the websites and everything else that we've had. And we've got more fantastic ones coming up this week. Also, last week we did a masterclass on Gesso with everything you needed to know. So if you haven't seen that, you can catch up. And this week, we're doing everything about inks. So over at the Papercraft Posse group, we've been keeping a bit of a tab of all different questions people have got about inks. What's a dyed ink? What's a pigment ink? What's the best ink for this and for that? So we'll collate all of those questions and make sure we answer them on Wednesday. And of course, while you're here, make sure like Diana, you pop a comment in the comments so that I know that you're here. Make sure you give us a like, a thumbs up, and of course, share us with your crafty friends because that is how we spread the word. So I think that's the main thing for this week's update. Number one, Pakenham Show is definitely cancelled. Number two, Geelong Show in July, not looking good. We're looking at what options we've got for Sandown in October. And, you know, there might be some things that we can do. We just, of course, will have to wait and see. Um, yeah, and also we know the weather in October in Melbourne is never good as well. So who knows? We'll have to see. Inspiration, when you need to or want to do some crafting but don't feel overly inspired, Get your stamps out, get some card out, do some colouring in. Hi Lee, oh good, Lee's looking forward to Wednesday in our masterclass on inks. So we are busy doing some research. I've got out all the different inks that I've managed to accumulate over the last, oh, I don't know, I think it's been like 25 years I've been seriously stamping. So actually I better check that all those ink pads work because there's nothing worse than doing a live demo and finding out the ink pads are dry. So I better make sure that I've done my research and check that they're all ready to go as well. And over the next week or two, we will have another fantastic range of Peter P Craft Presents. We've got Danny Scholes with Crafters Cupboard. We've got Jen from Hillbilly Scrapping. And we've got 
Jeanette from Jcraft, who'll be doing her beautiful paper flowers in three different ways. So we're really looking forward to that. So as always, any questions, leave them in the comments or find my contact details on the Facebook group or over at the website for picture to page and beyond.com.au. For those of you that haven't joined the Papercraft Posse group and you are on Facebook, what are you waiting for? I can put a link in the notes, head over to Papercraft Posse, answer two really simple questions, and there you can share your crafting ideas, ask any questions you've got. Hi, Linda. And of course, that is my first place I go when I've got some questions like, what questions do you have about ink? So that is a really lovely community to be a part of. So if there's nothing else for today, I'm so glad that you all joined us and I will see you really soon at either Peter P. Craft Presents or Masterclass for this week. So this is Michelle Brown signing off. We hope you have a crafty day. <laughs>